Everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here on top of the Tate and Tackle getting ready for an expedition day! Huzzah! It has been far, far too long since we have jumped on the back of Sunflower and set off into the skies, going hunting for plants or animals or whatever else it is we need to find during our expeditions. Today we are going to be looking for wetlands plants, we are going to be looking for roots hanging from under the bottom of dirt blocks, and we are going to just kind of keep our eyes peeled for whatever other creatures we might happen to run across while we are exploring. So I'm very excited to get started, though I do want to kind of go inside and check in the Tate and Tackle for just a second because I was in there just a second ago and there were two creepers and a zombie. So I have no idea. The place is lit up pretty well with glowstone along the bottom of the blocks. So I don't know why we keep having all of them show up and spawn. And my only theory is that Ben was exploring some catacombs earlier. And every time you go into catacombs, a whole bunch of mobs tend to spawn. So that's my theory. Also, I have good news and bad news. The good news is there's enough room inside of the fish tank because we only have one fish left. The bad news is we only have one fish left because all the rest suffocated in the walls. So now I know to only put one of these large fish in per tank, and I didn't know they would grow so big. So in the future, when we add in more fish to the other fish tanks, we will be using um, these smaller fish that don't get so big, and we will mostly be keeping these... Well, the good news is we have an empty fish tank. The bad news is we just lost our last fish. So I think what we actually need to do is remove that block up there and possibly make it more like this because they seem to manage that okay. They just cannot handle this part right there. So we just lost our last fish, you guys. A moment of silence and shame because I think I killed them through bad fish tank management and I feel pretty bad about that. What if we made the tank bigger by making the tank connect to the other tank? See, this is the kind of thoughtfulness we needed to have earlier. So we will make this tank larger when we come back by making it connect up with this tank and then hopefully we won't have the horrible sadness of the fish dying anymore. And I think we can keep at least two or three of the big ones inside this fish tank over here. So moving on from that really, really sad event. And by the way, I still love our carrot fish trophy. That is just amazing to me. And our big old bass. All right. Gosh, I feel really bad. I did not mean for the fish to die. It was an accident. Okay. Okay. All right, sunflower. We have our space empty. Oh, I need to put the turtle away. We have empty space and i'm gonna put this little turtle away and i'm gonna leave the dirt and the sand here hey dirt get over there All right, da, 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 da. and even the chocobo feathers i'll keep the chocobo feathers i don't want to start filling up my my fish chest with too many things that are not fish and let us set out you guys so i feel really bad about those fish actually so we're gonna go and look for some of those kinds of roots only not those particular ones because they're pretty over there and let's just go into a random direction and just see what we can find there's a pigu Here's a bunch of gardens. We might do a little bit of, um, oh, that's kind of nice. There's a bunny, a bunny at this little pond. Oh, there's some pears and cherries. That's nice. And we'll get the glorious grafter. And oh, look at all those pretty things. Wild pigs frolicking around. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of deer and some horses. That's so nice. All right, sunflower, let's keep looking. And we're kind of looking for any overhangs that we might be able to find. Not kind of like that, but that one's full of poop, so we don't want to explore there. Here's a whole bunch of snakes. Now that is interesting. A whole bunch of forest snakes, a boar. All right. See, there's some areas. Have we been over there? Is that our favorite little spot to go and gather water plants? It sure does look like it is. Hmm. But I don't know if we've been over that way. There's another snake. Oh, sunflower, your beak's in the way. There's another snake down there. So, oh, there's some tulips too. This is nice. This is nice. Where are we headed? Oh, what? There's a f the flower. What? All right. Did I kind of take a little bit of a sharp turn? I think I did. Yep, yep, yep. I know where we are now. All right. So this is where the flower gardens are. And I'm actually interested to see if the flower gardens are going to be full of butterflies. Because the butterflies from the Butterfly Mania mod should spawn with vanilla flowers. And I don't see any right here. So it may not be these kinds of flowers. 
In fact, are these even vanilla flowers? I think these are vanilla flowers. Hello, turkey! Are you saying hello to your big golden cousin? But yeah, I don't know if these are even vanilla flowers because it's a biomes of plenty area, isn't it? No, it's not. <gasps> What's this? It's a cat statue! Sunflower, we're discovering new things in your own backyard again! Oh, and I can't see what it says because Pavo is on right now, so I turned off chat. Oh, gosh. All right, it's a mysterious cat statue. There's one discovery down for the day. Let's keep moving. So here is that jungle. Here's a... Oh, there's some ducks. <gasps> if I had some empty safari nets and I don't... And there's the poodles! Oh, I remember these poodles. They're everywhere here. Oh, gosh. I know, right, Sunflower? And this is where we were gathering all of the water plants a while back. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. This is perfect, Sunflower. Oh, this is wonderful. It's a wetlands. It's kind of, it's like a, a swamp. This is perfect, actually. We can gather lots of things here because this is a bayou. This is perfect because look, there's a whole bunch of stuff we could use as wetlands pieces. This is wonderful. Good job, Sunflower. Good job. All right, so now the next thing is to wiggle down and try very hard not to get eaten by any Komodo dragons. Oh, there's even water gardens here. How exciting. All right. Oh, look at this. Perfect. It's the common rush we needed. Sunflower, it's excellent. Good job. Good job, Sunflower. All right, and then we'll get this. And then let's see, here are, now we could gather up some of these vines. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what a gold mine of exactly what we needed. All right, and there's the water gardens. And then we also have these guys. And these are the pyramid cedar trees. And these actually might look really good inside the tank tackle. And there's even the little ones. I've never found the globe cedars here before. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, look, and here's a whole bunch of the water chestnuts. Oh, perfect, perfect. Look at this bayou tree. Oh my gosh, it's just floating in the air here. And there's a whole bunch of different kinds of the ivy growing over there. I think that's the silver mist ivy or something like that. All right, I hope I'm not getting leeches in my underwear as usual. We always worry about that. I actually was looking at a piece of our old fan mail and it was from somebody who wrote like, uh, don't forget to check your underwear for leeches and I laugh so hard because that's one of our oldest oldest episodes and it's a really good one too all right and let's see are we good here good there what's this what are you it's a coconut there's a coconut tree here in the bayou that is amazing that is so cool I should probably go get sunflower to make sure she sticks with us all right so these are good gather up these vines perfect these are actually exactly the type of vines that I was thinking of the willow vines that I was thinking of putting up along the back of some of the fish tanks on the carpenter's blocks and I think we did that in the old world and I just forgot about that trick until we stumbled on it yesterday when I got so excited and I was like oh my gosh we should do this we should do this all right let's see and here's a little common rush if you actually destroy well pick up Oh, it's a bear. Okay, I was like, zombie. No, it's a bear, um, which is still something you want to give a wide berth to, but still. But if you pick up the plant mega pack plants with your hands, then sometimes they will propagate on you. So that's much, much niftier. The only downside is you can't do that with the aquatic ones. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Look at the little gardens. Go little water gardens. Go. I love the water gardens. They're so fun. And we're actually getting a ton of them. I'm actually going to try collecting. All right, gently. Okay, there's one water garden. Gently. There we go. I love it. I really do want to put more water gardens in our lake and just let them spread because you can get some really fun stuff from the water gardens. All right, here's some globe bushes. I know, right, Sunflower? Here's some of the ground cover. All right, so we're gathering up quite a few potential things. These common rushes and the globe bushes, especially, I think will make really good interior pieces to our Tate and Tackle. And then what else are we looking for, Sunflower? Well, she's leaving feathers everywhere, as usual. Um, there's a whole bunch of the algae. That would actually look really good. Look how much there is. Okay. Oh, there's another bear. Good to know. Ooh, and there's some pretty kangaroo ferns. All right, let's dive in here gather up some of this algae really quickly so much of it it's so beautiful gotta get as much as possible oh my goodness all right there we go there we go more needed all right there we go oh, oh, oh i'm gonna drown okay there we go that should be plenty of algae that we can use 
And then let us see, a little glow bush, I'll gather that up. All right, that's a pretty good haul from a bayou so far. I didn't expect to find this bayou. Well, I didn't know it's near my area, sort of. It's past the Poodle Rainforest, as it will probably always be known. And back to the roots, that's what we're looking for, Sunflower, is roots. So, bayou stop, extremely successful. Now I need to kind of find, I mean, and it's kind of cool, because look over here. It's got this big open area. What is this, con like, it's considered a bayou too. And it's full of gardens. Wow, this is a paper bark tree. I haven't seen a paper bark tree in ages. Look at this guy. There's poodles over here too, and Komodo dragons, and more rushes. There's like, pa there's paper bark trees. You can, oh, there we go. You can gather paper from paper bark trees. Isn't that so cool? We need to plant like a whole garden of them. We need to have a library that would have paper bark trees in the entrance, because that would be really cool. All right, and then there's a bunch of water gardens. Awesome as usual. I'm gonna collect up a couple of them. I love these things. I mean, because they pop open and they're full of random stuff, and I love random things. All right, and what are you, my little friend? Is this another coconut? It's another coconut. And I think I saw somewhere over here, if I can find it, I thought I saw, I could have sworn I saw a um, durian! Durians! I'm pretty sure that's a durian. I think, maybe, perhaps. What are you? All right, this is, yep, it's a durian, all right. So it's not ready to harvest yet, but I don't think we have a durian tree. So there's a thought, there's a thought for something to add into the future. Um, Add in, in the future, I should say. Into the future we go. Hmm. I need somewhere that has a lot of these little overhangs because that is where we are going to find the roots that we are looking for. And they're not really underground. They're only kind of on the surface-ish by these overhang places. So they might be a little tricky to find, actually. Let's gather up. What? Cylindrical cedars. You propagate so beautifully. That was amazing. I'll put a couple of you guys back down. Oh my gosh. I like them. Oh, and here's one of my favorites. My favorite ferns. I love them too. Hello, chicken. Chick, chick. No, chick, chick. All right. And so... The Komodo dragon seems to be behaving itself. I thought for a second it was like trying to eat the, the poodles and I was gonna go and intervene. Oh, white turtle heads, yes! And we can actually get white turtle heads from our snapping turtle, actually. So let's go ahead and no chick chick. And then I'm gonna replace a couple of the cedars. Look how many, oh my gosh, that's so cool. We've got tons of these cedars. They are really perfect. Aren't they just really perfect for decorating along the edges, like making a little boundary with them? Oh, and then some of these ivies. I need these too. Oh, wonderful. Ground cover everywhere. Fantastic. All right. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting my plant fever satisfied. And let's see. There's tons of rushes here. I really want to collect more of the rushes really fast. I don't want to take too many. That's kind of our rule of thumb is we don't want to like make it look like somebody came through and stole all of the plants. So you try to take just a few. All right, back on sunflower. And now we need to keep looking for kind of an overhang area. Kind of like this over here. It's kind of interesting because this is a very specific sort of spot we're looking for. Kind of like these, but I don't see any roots here. There's some coconuts, some fully grown coconuts. And then we're moving into some sort of forest. Here's a little overhang spot over there. All right, let's come down. Am I gonna land? That's a cow. I was trying to figure out what we were about to land on. All right, where are we now, Sunflower? We're in a temperate rainforest. So I'm gonna wiggle over here. Oh gosh. All right, there's some fossils. It's a nice cave. Yeah, it's a nice cave. There's some nice fossils here. If we were on a fossil collecting expedition, I would gather them. Um, ooh, these are pretty, the lollipop plants. There's a crow somewhere nearby, but not quite what we're looking for. Man, these roots are actually a little harder to find than I thought they would be. I wonder if we need to set up some sort of cool NPC who would trade roots from root vegetables. Like they could, you know how sometimes you get, um, well, have you guys ever harvested up some of the root vegetables and they have lots of roots still attached to them? Or like when you get a carrot and it has like all those tiny little roots on the very, very bottom tip of the carrot. So I wonder if we need to find like an NPC who would trade us roots from root vegetables. Because that would be kind of useful. Oh my gosh, it's a land of kitties. There's kitties and lavender everywhere. Where are we? It's a thicket. It's a kitty thicket. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, where are we now? 
It's a lush swamp. So there's a lot of crocodiles, small ones. And what the heck was that over there? Oh, that's just a black sheep. I was like, that's a huge crocodile. Um, yeah, not the kind of area we're really looking for. Any overhangs? Oh my goodness, it's making me think I just need to go back to the house and get the roots that we already have <laughs> hanging under the bottom of the area because this is a lot harder. It's a thicket full of cats. This is a lot harder to find any roots than I thought it would be. I'm going to have to just wait. Oh no, sheep, sheep. Oh no, I wasn't able to get there in time. <gasps> no. But yeah, this is a lot tougher. I thought we would maybe find an overhang, get all sorts of roots. Oh, there's a doggy grave. Aw. Yeah, I thought overhang, roots, this will be easy peasy. Nope. Apparently not. What about over here? That is one very deep cave. Sunflower, that is a cave for a day of exploring. And I'm not sure today is the day, but I'm pretty darn curious. Oh my gosh. I need to get a map mod again so I can mark these things and we can come back and explore them. All right, where are we going now? You know what, guys? I think we might have to do the NPC <laughs> for the roots because there comes a line where you just got to realize, like, this might be actually really hard to find. Oh, 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 there's an overhang area. And there's no roots. And it's a different type of soil over here, too. Hmm, I wonder if this soil would actually be... A little bit better for what we're doing in the wetlands. No, I kind of like the pods all better. All right, what is this stuff? This is the loamy dirt, though. Hmm. Hmm. That's very interesting. So let's gather up some of the loamy dirt here. In fact, I should probably just use my my shovel. But I'm going to gather up some loamy dirt. We can possibly use that for something. It looks pretty cool when it's piled on top of itself. All right, there we go. So a little bit of loamy dirt samples. We've got a whole bunch of plant samples. And I think we might need to set it up so we can trade to like some sort of greenhouse person for the hanging roots. Or even use a divincing piece. But we don't need to use a divincing piece. I just, I haven't seen one since we've started looking. Here's a nice little cave. Here's the loamy dirt. Here's a whole bunch of cool pine cones. So... Yeah, this is this is a this is this is this is a bummer, sunflower. This is a bummer, but I'm really excited that we got to go on an adventure and we did find the bayou and that was very useful. Oh, look at that! Let's get this blueberry grove. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about the blueberry grove. Look at this! Oh, finding these berry plants is so hard to do in the wild. I'm so excited that they're here. Come here, little ones. All right, so there we go. Nice little grove of blueberries. And yeah, I think we'll turn around pretty soon and go back home because I don't think I'm going to find a single one of the roots I'm looking for. I just don't. Hmm. Hmm. But I have learned a lesson. I have learned a lesson in the fact that this is another thing we'll have to set up a gardener NPC for. Is this an ocean? Have I found an ocean? Or is this just a huge lake? I think it's just a huge lake. It's, yeah, it's just a huge lake. It's a meadow. It's a very, oh my gosh. And look at all the chickens. Oh, it's so pretty here. Oh, this is, this is what adventure is all about, you guys. Being able to go out far enough that you can stumble on something beautiful and new and amazing. I love it. I love it. There's even a little kitty grave in the distance. All right, well, I think this is probably far enough for now. And... I really, I wish we could have gotten the roots at least. Let's go look over here. No, that's just a big giant hole in the ground. What on earth is it doing? There's a lot of animals in this meadow. Wow. Very healthy meadow sunflower. Oh, that's lava sunflower. We're not going to land down in lava. All right. So the mystery of what's down there is solved. There's cows. There's pigs. I love exploring the wild world. Oh my goodness. Here's a beautiful little lake next to a gorgeous rainforest. And, oh, there's some roots! <gasps> oh my gosh, over a canyon even! Okay! Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This is new sunflower. Let's come up. Okay, hang on a second. Oh my gosh, no! No, sheep, no! Why? 
Why? The sheep is gonna get my things that I'm trying to gather. Watch, it's gonna try to eat them. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he tried to eat him to the point where he like jumped off. So this is new. I don't recognize this this mineral, this curious ore. It's marble, marble ore. I think this is marble ore of the apple milk tea type. Huh, so I'll hold on to that. That's very, very useful, very interesting. I think this is the really hard to find like maple sapling mod marble. I'll have to ask Ben. So we'll hold on to it just to make sure we've got the pieces for later. And then I finally have found some of the roots we were looking for. So we might have to just go looking if I can get up here. Come on, please, 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 please. Oh, there we go. Yay! Three whole roots. Oh my goodness, there's more over here. Maybe we should have just been looking in the canyons. Like in the tops of the canyons like this. All right, almost some flare. Okay, now we need to get it. There we go. All right, we have four pieces. All of this exploring in four pieces, but you know what? Uh, let's get out of the canyon. I always, oh, sunflower, sunflower, gentle. Oh, I hate it when we get stuck in canyons. They're very painful. Very, sunflower, sunflower, <gasps> sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. Sunflower. Well, this is gonna be time to teach Astro Seed how to fly tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys, I'll see you bright and early in the morning when our misadventure for roots. I just need to hire a gardener NPC to trade root vegetables to to get roots because this is ridiculous. And we're going to have to go and retrieve sunflower and all of our stuff. So tomorrow we're going to teach Aster Seed how to fly. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.